New York starts to feel like home because of the relationships that you have. There was a cashier, we still remember her name. If you survived checking out your groceries with Grellis, you had proven yourself as a New Yorker that day. <laughs> It was 1996, so you picked up the New York Times or the Village Voice was huge for apartment ads in those days. My wife had one week with me in New York when I first moved here. So we had this one week where the pressure was on and we had to look at apartment after apartment after apartment. No matter what they said in the ad, it was never like that. It was it was always a disappointment. We had a good sense in, in our first weekend of apartment hunting of at least what we were gonna get for our money, which wasn't a lot. I would say we, we probably looked at 30 apartments. Tuesday, I got a call from my wife that she made an appointment with this broker. She knew as soon as they walked in the door that this was the best value we'd seen. It was a 30 unit building, six stories, tiny elevator, red brick on the outside. It was one bedroom and studio apartment. It was old, it had been there probably since the 1920s. She knew this other couple was about to arrive in five minutes. She says, I'll give you a check right now. And we love the Upper West Side, but it was a little bit random. Jerry Seinfeld lived on the Upper West Side on the TV show. That seemed like a good neighborhood from TV. Home is more than anything familiarity. Uh, there was a, a place on 72nd called Allstate Cafe, Greatest Hamburgers. It was tragic when that place closed. We've been in New York for almost 20 years now, my wife and I. My girls are 11 and 14. They have only known New York, both born in Manhattan. That's primarily what we identify with as a family now. We're New Yorkers. There are very few places in New York we have that sense of permanence, like this is gonna be the family home for the next 100 years because I'm gonna pass it on to my kids who pass it on to their kids. In New York, there's always a sense that somebody has lived in that space before you and somebody else is gonna live in that space after you and, and you're just taking care of it for a few years whether it was in Brooklyn now, whether it was on the Upper West Side when we first moved here. Home is wherever my family is at that time. Those are the things that probably count more than specific attributes of the, the physical space.